What's going on 100 Gang? It's your boy 100 Gang Nate and today we're back at it again with another video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you're old to the channel, thank you for always tuning in. Also, if you need some merch, if you like some merch, go ahead and go to 100gangclothing.com. Pick up some merch. It really, really helps the channel. Now today, we are going to get into how much my monthly payments are for the Big Z. As you guys know, this car is not cheap, but I also feel like it's something that's attainable if you know how to work hard um if you know how to budget well and you know how to really operate your finances obviously you have to be making money to afford something like this but i don't think it's something that's out of range for anybody that really wants to put uh that really wants to put a strong attempt at getting one i really feel like it's something that's attainable for anybody that if they actually just put in effort got to talk about credit the better the credit the lower your car payment the worse the credit the higher the car payment because of the interest so that's first things first a good interest rate gets you a good good payment a bad interest rate gets you a very very high payment my interest rate was all right it was six percent but i'm going to go ahead and refine that so eventually it's going to pull down so guys let's just go ahead and cut it out let's cut all the small talk out i'm just going to tell y'all right now how much i pay per month for my um, Z011 LE. The payment for this vehicle is $1,200 per month. And that's because my credit was like decent. Um, it's getting better now, but a couple years back, I went through a hard situation, probably more than a couple years back, probably about five years back. I went through a hard situation where I had a whole bunch of accounts closed on my account. I had a lot of high balance credit card limits. So that is the reason my APR was 6%. It should have been closer to like 2.9, maybe even 1.9. I think GM had like a thing going on that was 0% and they had good credit. At one point, I was way higher than 700. But like I said before, I went through a situation, uh, like a financial crisis where I lost literally everything. Um, literally went homeless. If y'all want to speak about that, y'all let me know in the video. But I really went through like a hard, hard time where I lost everything, had a bunch of closures on my credit. But I still was able to build it back up in a very quickly manner because I was able to link up with some people that had very strong connections and I was able to make a lot of money. Um, so I was able to like clear my credit up pretty fast, pretty quickly, making good, smart decisions. Um, so the print, like I said before, the monthly payment is $1,200. Um, their insurance payment on this car, once again, is crazy because if you have bad credit or decent credit, that affects your insurance cost. So always want to keep your credit sharp and clean. So my insurance for this car is $300 per month. So $1,500 out the gate without doing nothing, without gas, without oil, without maintenance, without tire, I'm paying $1,500 a month straight out the gate. And to me, in my opinion, yeah, the payment is kind of high. It's all right. And the insurance is very high. But what really gets me for this car is the gas. The gas is what, to me, in my opinion, is what is really unexpected. Because if you go, if you travel out 30 miles, 40 miles, that could be a quarter of a tank just like that. That's just one way, depending on how you drive it. And, you know, obviously it's a sports car, so you're probably going to drive a little crazy. You know, you're not going to really be taking your time in a car like this. You're going to be, you're going to be driving. See, that's most of the time, that's, that's really how I'm driving. So, um, another thing I want to talk to you guys about is getting a car like this, as long as you have a plan and a budget, it's not really hard to get. So I don't feel like you should cancel yourself out and be like, oh, that's something I never can get. If you stay focused and you stack some bread up, you'll be able to get it. And uh, also to qualify for the loan, I put down $5,000, put down five racks, and then I was able to get it. So, you know, I really, I'm really happy with the purchase. And like I said, I'm going to refinance in a couple months because like I said, my credit score is going up higher than it was, you know, because I'm making a good amount of money, way better than I used to. And um, I'm very happy with the vehicle. And with that being said, I want to get a few pulls for you guys with this car so you guys can see why I went with the Z011 LE. And honestly, uh, the total for this vehicle per month, if we talk about gas and all that stuff, gas, insurance, and all that stuff included, this car is probably going to run you about, from what I'm paying right now, it's probably going to run you around, i say 1800 to 2000 a month. So you got to keep that space right there. You know, you keep two grand a month or away, you'll be good. So let's go ahead and get these pools. Let's go.
So guys, now you all know how much I pay monthly for my vehicle and I hope it inspires you and not discourages you to go ahead and get your own Z011 LE because it's not that hard to get, especially if you got a plan. I'm just closing out the video, mama. So as usual, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're old to the channel, thank you for always tuning in and supporting. We got the big Z and hopefully we're going to have more cars to come in the garage soon. I'm always cooking up and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Peace out.